I am Jeffrey Villard, we are in Troy Total War. I will do a historical campaign. As you know, we already have uh, this possibility to have a historical campaign. Let's go back actually, let's just read what it says. Heroes charge into battle accompanied by a unit of capable bodyguards. So, more like a historical title. Praying to the gods of Olympus results in passive effects tailored to historical reality. That's not very different from what we had previously. And all units are grounded in reality. So there are non mythological units like centaurs, for example, sirens, uh, and so on. Okay. And we also can find that somewhere here. We can read it here as well. Maybe it's more interesting. So, uh, we have a new mechanic, administration. Uh, so, sometimes you get some administration handicap. If you have a lot of settlements, that's to kind of slow you down and make the campaign, even a late game, sort of interesting. I don't think, I don't think it became really out of hand. I mean, if it, if it became out of hand later the campaign, it became out of hand because of all factions. Yeah, there was a steamrolling effect because of two or three very big factions dominating the map. Um, in any case, um, there is an extra mechanic to hold down the economy. Uh, the, uh, the his, there are historicals, whatever, the heroic princes above all leaders over men, so um, they are not just heroes, they are leaders of men. Um, and so... Uh, and single, yes, yeah, single charges into enemy lands were ironically not the thing of the actual past. Okay, that's true. So every hero has access to multiple choices of increasingly powerful bodyguard units available to his or, or her scale tree. So during the campaign, as your hero becomes more skilled, uh, he can get a better uh, unit, a better bodyguard unit. There are no mythological units. And there is um, divine will, uh, so that's more like some kind of effect of faith, or something like that. Dedication to a particular uh, set of skills. Okay, read full patch notes. Okay, we can skip that. Um, so let's go uh, then and choose a campaign. Uh, so a new campaign. And the only campaign that I haven't done so far, I had started one, but I'm going to start again. I do an Ajax campaign. No? I haven't showcased an Ajax campaign. I started one, but let's start it afresh. Courage oh, and yes. honor bring victory. Enemy factions are not affected by significant penalties. No, okay, sorry. Let's go veteran. And veteran. That's, that's good. You know, so, okay, fine. Start situation is normal. Uh, the faction uh, description prove your might to the world by challenging great warriors. So we'll have now and then the option to uh, challenge some warriors. We have to pay some money or tribute and they'll come and fight us in single hand combat. As far as I'm aware, these single hand combats are not, they're just a mechanic to give you. Um, a uh, special unit that can recruit as mercenaries. And then you can defeat challengers in honorable duels to convince them to join your cause, so they'll come and join your cause with their bodyguard. Uh, so that's what it says. Powerful paragon units. Okay. Uh, so that's a similar mechanic as uh, with the uh, Diomedes, uh, but there you, in the Diomedes campaign, there was strategy or, or some sort of trainers that would train the Paragon unit. Here you fight at the hero, and if you defeat him, then him, him, he, the hero and his Paragon unit, his bodyguard, will join your faction as mercenaries. Yeah, so you can recruit them whenever you want. And then you have this other mechanic, Warrior of Renown. Uh, you, your Renown grows, and then you get some special traits. Uh, so your Renown grows, you also can get some ancillaries, I think. Recommended playstyle Ajax Rooster. 
sorry, Ajax Rosta relies on slow but very heavily equipped defensive infantry to hold the line. That was so very heavily armored spearmen. While his powerful missile units take advantage of protected positions. So it's like pike and shot style <laughs> warfare. That suits me. And no club units, so we have shielded units, uh, sword units, and uh, missile units. So here are Ajax the Great. He was called Great, not because he was like Alexander the Great, but he because he was tall. He was Ajax the Tall. He, Homer calls him Ajax the son of Telamon rather than Ajax the Great. Ajax the Great is a kind of British thing, whatever, European thing. So, Ajax the Great, son of the legendary king Telamon of Salamis, was one of the four, sorry, the fiercest and most cunning warriors of the Trojan War, second only to Achilles in martial prowess. Homer depicted him as a stalwart defender who played a key role in repelling Troy's counterattack and who was skilled enough to overpower Hector twice in single combat despite Zeus intervening in the Trojan prince's favor. Ajax was often portrayed with his half-brother, the renowned archer Teusa, whom he guarded with his formidable shield crafted from seven layers of ox hide and one of bronze, allowing his sibling to pick off enemies from a distance for a devastating defensive advantage. So it's like a pike and shot style warfare. <laughs> it suits me, okay? So, son of Telamon and Arabia, uh, plus 12% to campaign movement range at sea, this army, so just um, Ajax. Plus 5% of missile resistance of full units in Hero's army. But just Ajax army, not the entire Ross or whatever. You know, other generals don't get this buff. Okay, so I think we can uh, get started. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Are we mere playthings of the gods? Mighty Ajax, it is time to take your place at the forefront of the Achaean host. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. The island of Salamis breeds proud and prudent fighters, independent in spirit, yet willing to ally with Agamemnon and aid the Achaean cause. None can stand against the bulwark of the Achaeans. You have recently taken the settlement of Megara, but beware the men of powerful Athens who would curb your ambitions in the region. Whilst your attention was elsewhere, the pirates of Echis launched a raid and captured the Isle of Aegina. Now their ships menace Salamis itself. Retake Aegina and run these sea wolves down. Even with such challenges at your door, you will not abandon an ally in need. King Menelaus of Sparta has been wronged and must have his vengeance. Paris of Troy must pay! It is your destiny, Ajax the Great, to shield your allies with undaunted fervor and defeat all who march against you. Wow, this narrator is, is great. He has a beautiful voice. So that was Homer, um, I guess. He was telling us the story of uh, Ajax and the Trojan War. I have a theory about what happened with Paris, how he ended up in, uh, in Sparta. Yeah, it's something that's somewhat based also on the archaeology. So, but any, anyways, let's, let's leave that for a proper historical video and let's uh, get back into the game. So, uh, the path to greatness, Salamis. Uh, it was an island very close to Athens. From humble beginnings on the shores of Salamis, Ajax the Great sets out to prove worthy of his name. 
Whenever he encounters powerful challengers on his journey, he may face them in non-lethal contest of military prowess. If defeated, these paragons will acknowledge his might and join his armies. Warrior of renown. Great Ajax, sorry, Great Ajax, sword, uh, Great Ajax swore an oath to always guard his friends. Ajax's strength against a rival is bolstered whenever they defeat an ally, and his renown grows when he completes objectives to avenge them. By leveraging this reputation, Ajax can then host funeral games to convince rivals to take peace. That's an interesting mechanic. I wonder how that plays out. I started the campaign, just tried it out, just a few game turns, but this sounds very intriguing. So, Paragon Warriors. Ajax and Diomedes can bolster their respective armies with Paragon's mightier versions of regular soldiers who march into battle under the leadership of seasoned com of a seasoned commander. Ajax can rally Paragons by defeating them in mock combat, sorry, while Diomedes must rely on the Strategos to train them for him. Okay, that's what I already said. Lead the charge. Defeat an army belonging to the following faction in battle. Achis. Okay. Easier Ajax done than said. Great. Hey, hey. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, already a battle. Give no quarter. Okay, should be able to win this. So they have two missile units. We have uh, we have jolly man. They have uh, they have slingers. So we have to rush them. Basically, we have heavier units. Heavier units, slower. Somehow we have to rush them. Rain was with me, but I think I can forget that for now. Let's see. They're right across this valley. Okay. And of course, they have the slingers at the front. It would suit me to go through this, wood, through this wooded area because I will not take so much damage from the slingers. So let's do that. It's a bit cowardly, but. So, uh, our, our hero has a bodyguard. Okay, here's a, the fast, it is a fast unit. So let's put the heavy guys at the front, and we're going to go through here. And I block them and put them in the formation. And let's start the battle. So, can we see our units? Oh, they're in the grass, in the, in the bushes. I uh, can't see a whole lot. Somewhere here. Okay. Very well concealed. Here's the... Oopsie. Here's the unit of Ajax. Goodness me. Uh, is there an opening here? This They're gonna be very well concealed, that's, uh, that's for sure. Maybe this is the bodyguard of Ajax. Okay, 
we will have to surprise them. They cannot see us. We are concealed, as you can see. I'm going to speed it up a little. And then when we get really close, we will have... Have they seen us? I don't think so. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The foe has sighted your hidden units. So be easy and easy way in this thing. Fingers crossed. Your warriors and... are losing heart. Oh crap. I thought it would have been an easy way in, but maybe not. That was a uh, quick round. Do you have any abilities? Your warriors are rallying. Okay. Can you maybe take care of him? Oh, no, 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 no. I click on the wrong one. What on earth? Your warriors have been routed. Not again. Why aren't you charging them? Okay. Oh, that wasn't a good start. One of your units has no more ammunition. Okay, charge into battle. By Ares, your warriors are rallying. Should be possible to win this. It can't be that hard. The victory is close enough to taste. Awaiting orders. No mercy. Wipe them out running. I am a great hammer, your crackling.
Hades has claimed the enemy hero. Sounds good. Okay, I think we can probably leave it here. So, let's plan that for. And we didn't lose any units. It wasn't a great victory, but. But we pulled it off, uh, so let's replenish units 10%, so this one increases morale, but only for two game turns. So this one you can get some money uh, in exchange for that, or we can replenish the units. Hit the road. Leave the charge. Okay. And so then the next that would be this is our case, so that is the Ajax the Great. Make yourselves their a launch uh, pad or whatever. So we're going to get some units and go and attack them. Is that a plan? Very well. Very well indeed. I get three units, so that'll do for now. We can probably get another three and then can attack them. Should be able to win comfortably while we are training, uh, we're recuperating from the battle. Which ones of these shall I go for? The gold ones are always good, the copper and the stone. I'm gonna go. All of these are good. Uh, this one gives us happiness in the provinces, it's quite important. And this improves recruitment, this and that. They're all important. I don't know uh, which one is the most important. I'll go for the stone. We can use it also as building material. So here is this thing with the uh, these uh, challengers that will provide paragon units. At the moment, five of them are known. This is the uh, this thing about the celebrity. You host something, you give them one of the ancillaries that he has, and then you choose one of these factions, and then they be they be very friendly towards you, and they give you something. Will you give them something? They give you something, or you should show show by attitude, and then uh, if you then they'll be quite faithful to you. I I, I got the impression because. I think that's what is happening. The other thing is we have this bar here, administration. So as it goes up, things get more important and difficult, uh, more pricey and more difficult. Uh, the other thing we have here is the total renown. So you have all these layers of things. So as the total renown goes up, plus five diplomatic relations with the Danaeans, plus ten diplomatic relations with the Danaeans, diplomatic relations with the Danaeans, and plus two to deal evaluation. So you see how various buffs as you go up in renown. Okay, uh, and probably these things here, select like celebration prizes, races help to increase his renown. Then you can host the celebration. The other things are the usual things. So we have the scroll here for uh, diplomacy. We have the gods. Uh, I'll go for Aphrodite for now. Uh, I seek your aid, and, uh, O gods. And that, because Aphrodite is good in the early game, as it gives, as it gives um, buffs to growth. Yeah, and I've made the prayer, so we have plus twenty percent to growth faction wide. Also, the good diplomatic relations with other factions and various other things. And I think uh, that uh, is well. Let's let's start also with the diplomacy. So let's go first with the quick deals. Uh, let's see. Uh, we have the possibility to have non-aggression pact. Nobody wants. Okay, we're just at war with Achilles. 
Uh, the only faction that's possible to have a diplomatic deal other than a Sparta is Sparta. With Ajax by my side, my cause will be well served. Indeed, my friend. And so, let's see. Uh, that's good. So we have, we get subsidies. Uh, presumably only when the um, only, only early in the game. Now, you know, as diplomacy gets harder, we will not be getting subsidies after a while, I expect. But right now, at the beginning, you see, I only give one copper and we get subsidies. Okay. So let's do that. And let's start some of the other factions because we probably can get subsidies from all of them. Uh, so we already uh, have a defensive alliance with Mycenae. Uh, so I'm going to do the same thing. Off the battlefield. Yes, indeed. You're a wise king. I'm going to do the same thing with the other ones uh, here. Right. Yes, it works. Yes, it works. Okay. That's not a bad thing. For a few game turns. Um, yes, another one. So this is going to be a little bit tedious. Is to talk matters through. Yes, indeed. Ah, let's do this. Won't like it. So let's do this. No, won't like it. Ah, uh, here it doesn't work. All right, fine. That's okay. One to one. So we'd be happy if we do this. It's working. All right. So I've got an extra copper. That's really a bit stingy there. Why didn't it register? Shouldn't be. What? What happened? Ah, damn it! I will happily talk with you. Try this again. Now it's working. Ah, how about this? Oh, that's working. Oh yeah, I like it. All right. Sounds like a good deal for five game turns. All right, next one. No Agria. Let's see if they will like the. I'm sure there's a deal to be struck with Ajax. Okay, if you're sure, then there must be one. So I'm doing this live. Um, it may be that it's not as exciting. Uh, so when I'm doing it offline, it's very difficult to concentrate. Alright, they don't like. They don't like this stuff. Okay, let's do it. Go down to five. Five will work. They're not so friendly as some of the other factions you see. They're kind of brownish. They'll be more friendly next game turn. In fact, since they're going to be more friendly next game turn, as you see, I'm going to leave that for next game turn. There is plenty to be gained by speaking with you, Ajax. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's That's also not working. It's fine. Ah. Okay, whatever. So I'll leave the brownish for later on. I'm going to do these ones for now. This is a good time to talk. Yes, yeah, a vassal of my senior, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. And 
and the other ones are brownish. But probably, let's see, will they improve? They are improving slowly. They're improving slowly, so especially this one is not improving at all. <laughs> so I'm going to take uh, advantage of it now. Okay. Because hopefully, I'm not really sure, but hopefully that has a small effect in the long run in improving relations. I will speak with Salamis and see how it goes. I'm not quite too sure. Uh, and indeed, we'll see how it goes. We don't know how it goes until we speak. That is the case indeed. I can deal with Ajax. So I said. So I'm doing these barters because it probably doesn't hurt. Okay, so let's see. Let's talk things over while we can. Indeed, my friend. Okay. So who haven't got a bother? Bother. Let's talk things over while we can. Potions, potions like copper. I'm fine with it. And uh, we are left with Lulagia Minova. So last one. I will speak with Salamis and see how it goes. Yes, let's see. Let us see. So we got a little bit of a favorable deal with practically all of them. That wasn't too bad. Things can only. Um, can only go well, I guess. Hopefully, uh, we started on, on a good footing. So let's see how things go a little bit down the line. So I think that was the first game turn. Construction available. Sorry about that. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, here, I don't think I want that at this point, so I'm going to demolish it. Sorry, and uh, uh, now these I need to get the mud brick houses to speed up our uh, development, whatever it's called. Province growth, that's the word. Province growth. Okay, and here, I'm not sure what I want to get. I'll either get that one in the end, or, yes, or, we got that, yes. So that'll be the last one, but I'll leave it, sorry, I'll leave this one for the end, it's very cheap. I'll leave it for the end because uh, it, ha it causes minus 70% of growth. Uh, and although it's cheap, it's not so good. Some of the other ones, obviously, uh, give us more uh, wood, not, this is 125, this is 122. So that's about the same, actually, it's not more. And the other ones. Okay, the other ones are not so good. Uh, this one definitely is not good. That's 95. That's plus 81 with high influence. So, um, okay, so one of the last two options uh, probably is the best. I think the last one is the easiest. But because it causes 70, uh, minus 70% 70 growth, I'm not going to build it until the other ones have been built. So, uh, that was the first game turn. Maybe I'll do one more and then I'll wrap it up. Okay.
Okay, so got the Count of Aphrodite going. And King's Decree. Issue Royal Decree. Not yet. We have to capture Aegina. Aegina for that. Aegina. So, what is the deal? Garrison Hero. Okay. Construction available. Okay, that's an option here or an option there. What can we get? How is happiness is okay? Okay, and influence is okay. That uh, we could potentially build that, or we could build a temple. How about that? But because this will also improve public order. Or. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, by the way, we also have these special um, buildings. Uh, they are unique. Uh, each faction has their own. So, uh, the Ajax faction has these ones. Favor of Hephaestus, but this, of course, decays over time. And uh, decreased stone and construction costs, uh, plus grass and auxiliary upon construction. So that is kind of okay. Minus 60% to, to bronze construction costs, but just this province. Might be good to have it in the beginning and then switch over to another one. Uh, the one that's that's definitely looking better is this one. This gives you special units. You see at the top, these two units, Ajax Companions and Ajax Walls. So we definitely want that. Uh, but it could be that we can take this at the beginning to reduce construction costs for building these ones, and then we can tear it down and have something else. So, alternatively, we can get uh, the uh, the count of his faces going because that will give us good armor for our units. And I'm torn between these two. I think these are the best two for the time being. As this one only causes has wood construction costs, it seems a better option. And this one requires some wood and stone, and uh, at the end requires some gold as well. Okay, so I'm going to just go for the temple, uh, the altar of Hephaestus, and later on we'll have the food. And now we have 10 units, but these ones are still being recruited, and I want to attack Aegina, Aegina. So, Staunch ally. Okay. So I'm going to go back Landfall. and hire. Let's see, one, two, three. It shall be so. Shall be so, indeed. Can we afford it? Just about. We're not in the red yet, so let's see what happens next game time. I can still disband one of these units. So I'm going to take into the settlement. What? A giant among them. Hello. Why didn't you go? Oh, come on. Writing wrongs. Sorry, what am I doing? Ajax the Great. Thank you. Why didn't you go into the settlement? So it was one, two, Without fail. and three. Okay, and uh, I think. I think. And we're done. So it'll give us plus six ammunition for missile units, whatever that means. Okay. And then at some point, maybe I will, I will change this. I'm not sure. But anyway, so um, you can always rebuild the buildings. Yeah, you know, if you don't, have, you're not married to these buildings. So we're going to recruit. Uh, finish with this recruiting next. Epic warrior. Game turn, we're going to attack Aegina. And that was uh, the first episode of the historical Ajax campaign. Thank you for watching.